Okay, we have an unboxing for a Tin Hi Fi T5S. Let me go ahead and put on the magic gloves. Dun, dun. This is a. I just think I did an unbox for another Tin Hi Fi. I jump on them sometimes because they had such an awesome thing going. They weren't what Sim God is now, but they were going in that direction, if you remember back then. Anyway, let me get to this and we'll talk later. So, Mars T5-6 and then Mars is the theme. You can see that the top box is not here because I have no idea where that is. So you take this off and then you imagine that there's a black box and then you remove that. And then you have what's in front of you right there. So you missed out on that part of the experience. Someone else will fill that void in your life. Um, lift it up and we have a tool for removing something. A cleaning tool for cleaning something. I imagine the nozzles and then you've got the two IEMs right there. Before we continue, let's take a look here. Got the, I guess the warranty card. That's what that would be. Put that there. Um, an explanation of something or authenticity maybe. You want to drop this out. And there you go. And that's all that's in there. Yep. Nice white box. I've seen it in some other sets before. This looks like slightly different. Um, on the top we see why that there's a set of tweezers so that you can change the filters. This should be automatic for all sets ever released, all metal sets in particular because the ear gunk that exists in a solid form in your ear, once it gets out, gets warm, you get a fever and it melts or multiple different reasons and then it coagulates and hardens on the filters or the filters below these screens and then you're in big trouble because you got channel inbound so this helps you switch it this helps you greatly in changing it so that's a nice little touch it should be standard these are the tips looks like narrow bore wide bore large medium small okay we have a cable that feels really nice actually and it's really nice and straight. Oh, I like that cable. Some cables just hit you. I like this one. This is a non-changing termination. Black and white silver weave. It's very nice. I like this cable. It's got no company markings or logos on the Y split. It does have Tenifi on the um, chin slider which actually works when you see these things just fall down that's the high chance that they won't actually function when you need them unless under tension but that's not the case so very nice cable it is a flush two pin type let me go ahead and take a look at the IEMs real quick there's no way to push these out except brute force so we'll just go with one um Breather hole for the back of the dynamic driver. Breather hole for the front of the dynamic driver, which is likely right there and behind the nozzle. It looks like a good quality nozzle. It's got a lip on the edge to hold your tips on. Um, build quality seems quite nice, and it's, again, as the t terminations on the cable would indicate, it is, in fact, a flush two-pin right there. So design looks nice. Let's take a brief look at the frequency graph. The original T5 was, some people liked it. I don't recall being quite a fan of it. If I were to adjust it, one of the things I would do is take the 5K and pull that down because that sticking out at that amplitude just, there's a lock that can go wrong with that. And that was corrected. The ear gain is at a slightly lower angle, which I would prefer myself compared to the original. And the new one has an uh, elevated sub bass, and it's essentially the same mid bass. So it's a bassy set, but it's t it's more towards the sub bass, and it's got less energy via the angle of the ear gain and also that 5K. So it should be a more um, uh, acceptable tuning for a library like mine. So I'll talk about that when I do the full review for the set which I will do for this set I haven't done a full review for a 10 I think in a while just to, I've jumped and 
kind of bash them in uh, shorts. Um, now I'm going to, somebody won something today and I announced it in the community section. I can speak freely in this channel. I can't in the main channel to protect it. Um, so I'm going to say a few things. Don't take it personal because it's not. This is strictly business. This is literally strictly business. So don't take it personal. If you win something and then you contact me like I ask you to and you do it in seven days and then I reply to you and I say, take your info and forward it to this mail. And that would be my wife who has a child and a job and is very busy. And she's the one that ships the items because she's native Japanese speaker and there's no communication misunderstanding. Um, and then there's checking the boxes because I'm a foreigner that happens sometimes. It doesn't happen with her. It's part of living in the Inaka, the countryside. People doubt. I, I, that's fine. But to make the process go smooth as she does it. When you send a mail, send the video that you were, were in and announced the title of that video so it can be checked. Um, the item that was won, which I will double check, and then your shipping address. That's what she should read. So she knows who you are, what the video is to go double check it, confirm, ask me, and then are we good to go? And I say, yeah, if that's the thing, then go ahead and ship it. If you send a mail and you say, I'm the guy that won, um, which happens a lot recently, then she's looking at her phone and looking at me like, I, do you know his address? Do I have to ask for his address? And I'm just like, man, just ignore that dude. Um, so don't be like that guy who got ignored and isn't going to get his set. If I tell you to send your info to my wife, your info means your mailing address because you won something. And unlike all of those sellers that you buy stuff from, I'm paying for your shipping. I'm paying for trackable parcels. Please just give your address. This is like pulling teeth sometimes. And if you're, a lot of people have no problems. So you're just like, you click out, go ahead, go. Um, some of you, really, uh, it's, uh, it's not being polite to not jump right into the fire when I said in the original mail, pass your info to her so that she can ship it. Not start a chat with her. She doesn't, she's busy. What's the address? What's the item? What was the video that it appeared in? Let's go. So I don't get the look from her face while she's looking at her phone like I just got a notice. What's the item? It doesn't say. Where does he live? It doesn't say. Ignore him and move along. So don't be like that guy. But the guy who just won, um, I doubt will be like that guy because I just did this in this video. So that's the T56. I'm pretty sure video is coming for it. I can't say any reason not to. So I'm out.